Are you ready to learn how to play Ultimate Werewolf? Well, hit that like button and let's get started. Ultimate Werewolf is a great party game for 5 to 75 players, ages 13 and up, and each game runs 30 to 90 minutes long. Begin by selecting someone to be the moderator, or randomly deal the moderator card to one of the players. In a beginner game with 7 players, you'll deal out 4 villager cards, a seer card, and a werewolf card, and of course you have the moderator, who will shuffle those cards and randomly deal them to the other 6 players. Now each player will secretly look at which card they were dealt, and remember what role they're playing, but not tell any other players. Now the moderator will announce the night phase and ask all players to close their eyes. Then the moderator will ask the werewolf to open his eyes so the moderator knows who's playing that role. Then he'll close his eyes and the seer will be asked to open her eyes and to point to any other player. The moderator will then give a signal to let the seer know whether that player is a villager or a werewolf. Then the seer closes her eyes and the moderator announces that it's daytime and everyone wakes up. Now the players will go around the table introducing themselves as villagers, regardless of what their actual role is. It could be as simple as giving your name and the fact that you're a villager, or have fun with it and give even more information. The only thing you should not do is announce if you're the werewolf. Now, for a preset amount of time, you should give at least 10 minutes, the group will have an open conversation about who they think the werewolf is. Of course, the werewolf is part of this discussion, so sometimes it gets heated. At any time during this discussion, any player can accuse any other player of being the werewolf. If at least one other player seconds that accusation, the person being accused gets one minute to convince the rest of the players that he or she is not the werewolf. Then all the other players vote, and if more than half of them give a thumbs down, that player is eliminated, and they reveal their roll card, but they can no longer speak. If it turns out they were the werewolf, then the players win the game. If not, it immediately becomes night. Again, all the players will close their eyes, and if the seer was not eliminated in the first round, she gets to point to another player and find out if they're the werewolf. However, every night after the first one, the werewolf also gets to point to another player and eliminate them immediately. The moderator then announces that it's daytime again and everyone wakes up. But before anyone speaks, the moderator announces who the werewolf pointed to, and that person reveals their role and is eliminated from the game. And then the rest of the players have an open conversation as they did during the first day. This pattern of day and night and accusations and eliminations continues until either the werewolf is identified by the villagers, then the villagers win, or it gets down to just the werewolf and one villager left, then the werewolf wins. And that's how to play Ultimate Werewolf.